Um, okay, so we are a pediatric skilled nursing facility. We're the only freestanding facility like this in the Southeast United States. So we have kids that come out from all over the state of Florida. And in order for them to be here, they have to require 24 hours of nursing care. Um, they are labeled medically fragile. So you'll see most of them have trachs or they're on ventilators. They all have G-tubes. We only have about five kids that eat by mouth right now. We have 36 kids here total. Oh, in here is our therapy gym. This is where we do physical occupational speech therapy. Um, we have like a sensory room where we do a lot of sensory integration. This is Belle, say hi. Hello, Bo. So Bo takes a minute to warm up to you, but then he, he loves games and plays basketball. In here is our nursery. This is where all our little babies are. We won't be going in there today because unless you guys have a flu shot. My story is at 18, I tried out for rugby and I was doing pretty good. Like I was doing good enough to get a scholarship. So my third practice, I got tackled, and then while I was trying to get back up, one of my teammates was running full force, and his knee uh, hit my neck and broke it. He hit my neck and broke it. So pretty much I've been, I was out for two weeks in a coma. They said I wasn't supposed to get surgery or anything. I was supposed to die that day. But luckily, my toes moved, and they gave me the surgery. Can I tell him? You're yeah. Okay. When Deontay was nine, he was riding his bike and he was hit by a car and he's paralyzed from the neck down. And this is a ventilator and actually breathes for him. But other than that, he's completely mentally independent and typical 16 year old. We are doing our Give Hope campaign and we're so excited about it because this is a time during the holidays where we can bring families together and we want to reunite our um, kids with their moms, their dads, their aunts, uncles, grandparents, because that's what the holidays is about. This is uh, coming up on two years ago that we did our, our first um, annual event where we raised uh, money for the Broward Children's Center. And we had an event in Boca Raton and we raised a lot of money for it, which is a really nice thing. But we never really got to meet the kids. So you never kind of really got to get a feeling of where, where the money was going, what, what, who we were helping. And uh, today we're lucky to be here with the kids and we're handing out toys. Uh, we're combining with some of the uh, MMA fighters uh, locally and seeing the, the smiles on these kids' faces, getting toys and picking out what they want and talking to the fighters. It's, it's, uh, it's really a humbling experience and I, I have to say it's uh, something I want to do as many times as I can for the rest of my life. Something a little better. Hey, look at the world upside down. How's it look from there? If I'm honest, from what I can see from the from from the kids that are here, their personalities, yeah. their characteristics, stuff like that, you know, um, they they see the world very simple, and I, I think um, you know, for, for, for me to come in and to, and to see this, obviously, my my little lad, I will admit, I, I find it quite hard. I just I just stay here for the kids, help them out, do what I can. I'm going. I just got off work. I'm using my break right now. <laughs> uh, um, teacher assistant, just just helping out the kids over there, and pretty much just just going to school. Yeah, finals. I have finals tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what to say. There's not very many times where I'm speechless, but this is one of those times. You know, I don't really know what to say. Uh, you know, it really me. It really makes you appreciate a lot, especially when you have a family at home. Um, because you just never know what happens. You hear some of these stories and, and uh, it's like everything's going normal, everyday life, and then it's just one day, you know, it's just something happens and it's just, just like that. I mean, it turns your world around and, and then you have to rely on others to, to help you and, and take care of you. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy, but, but I'm glad, you know, we can come here and at least, you know, put a smile on people's faces for, you know, a day. I mean, it's not, it's nothing in the grand scheme of things, but it's, I know it means something, but really it's, it's not much. Is it just day after day you're getting pounded on, like, like so, so when you, we train, we train, you know, we pretty much train every day. Like today we, we, we sparred, you know, we did kickboxing, we yeah. punch each other, but, uh, a lot of days we just wrestle, you know, and we just do uh, we, we do all sorts of uh, martial arts. Yeah, we do we do kickboxing, we do boxing, we do jujitsu, 
we do wrestling, we have to learn all those martial arts. We're so grateful for you guys coming out here today and not just for giving money and toys but for spending your time because oftentimes our kids can feel like they've been forgotten over here and we just thank you so much for remembering them, for spending time with them because that's really um, what it's all about. And you guys are real champions for doing that because when no one's looking, this is what you guys decided to do. So we thank you. If people want to donate, they can go to our website, bccskids.org slash give hope. And all of the details are there for on the campaign and how they can give.